this property, this acreage, is almost in Canada. You're one property away. That's Canada up on the end of this road, the Snow Settlement Road. There's a penned-in area for your garden so critters don't get to it, or for small animals. We're on the end of a dead-end road, so there's no traffic. This is your drilled well with a new submersible pump. We're quite a few hundred feet off the road. This was all farm fields from years ago when they grew potatoes. It hasn't had potatoes for years, so you could go the organic gardening route or farming route. There's a barn as well. The barn, roughly paced off, is 36 by 28. And there's another 28 by 18 rampage, where they could come in out of the rain or the blowing wind. So you don't have to clean them out all the time. There's a garage in the basement. Wish I had an apple or a carrot. This horse has got it made. There's an old Norse spreader. There's some abandoned farmland where volunteer Christmas trees were growing in. But this is a farm. Open ground, both fields and pastures, mixed woods. Someone's hoping I do have an apple. I wish I did, big fella. The horse does not go with the property. This is a potato field this year that will get rotated and be grains next year. Farmer would love to continue to rent, and that helps subsidize your property taxes. This is not just a log home and a barn. This is acreage. This is a farm in Maine, northern Maine, Aroostook County. Off the double garage is a kitchen. Those are all handmade knotty pine cabinets. There's a center island with a gas range, Gen Air. This home has a new roof. It was just caulked and repainted, or stained, because it's a log home. Off the kitchen is a full bath. There's another bath and a laundry upstairs. This first floor bath has a shower. And the same beams that are in most of the home. These are the beams in the kitchen. The kitchen bathroom have the regular ceiling. But the living room, dining room, stairway is cathedral. This is a pantry closet. From the kitchen, we have a bedroom that's 10 by 10 with a closet, another bedroom that's 10 by 10 with a closet. We go from the dining room into the living room with a great room. That's a three flue fireplace with a pellet stove using one flue. In the basement there's a wood furnace or there's an oil furnace. Double atrium doors to an open deck. Big purlins. This home is also set off the road for extra privacy. There are three bedrooms on the second floor. This is a loft that's open. It could be closed off. There's a laundry room walk-in closet. This is the second bath on the second floor. Cathedral ceiling. This has a full tub and shower bath. This was Emily's room, bedroom number one on the second floor. Can you tell that she likes sports? Kids grew up. That's the only reason this property is for sale. The master bedroom has a heck of a view. Down a the hall, there's another bedroom. You can tell this little gal loves horses. The Snow Settlement Road has lots of other farms too. 
doing the same thing you want to do, live on a farm in a scenic area with no traffic. This is the snow settlement road that dead ends. The farm's on the end of this road. 